Hey everybody, Philipp Schnetzky here. In this video I'm super excited to present to you guys not one, not two, but three different fast boxes by Stumpbox Pedals, a brand new company based in England. These three pedals form the Get Fast trilogy and are the first three pedals to be released by Stumpbox Pedals. Andy is the man behind uh, Stumpbox Pedals. He just recently left his job in the corporate world. He's a electrical and electronic engineer. And he decided to build fast boxes, so I think we can all agree that this man finally came to his senses. I will talk about the three fuzzes as we go, but here's a quick overview so you guys know what to expect. The silver knob one is a silicon fuzz face type fuzz. The gold knob one is Andy's take on a 1960s Sam Ash fuzz box or Astrotone fuzz. And the black knob one is a take on the Zvex Woolly Mammoth which is actually a fuzz for bass, but I'm gonna show you how it sounds on bass and on guitar, which will be a premiere. I didn't demo a bass effect so far. Okay, so let's deep dive first into the silver knob one. Andy took inspiration here from Analog Man's Sunface with BC182 and 183 transistors. So these are also the transistors that you find in this one. Besides your volume and fuzz knob, you have a bias control, which is more of a tone control with silicon transistors and it's really, it's really cool to have this bias control or tone control here. I really dig it. And you have two internal trim pots. You have a large trim pot, which lets you reduce the input gain if you want to. And the smaller trim pot lets you set the, the bias of the second transistor just in case you want to experiment. And Andy also marked the, the, his default settings so you can always go back. Okay, let's pull standard into my Rev D20. And here comes the silver knob version. On the bridge pickup on almost full, now on full. down to about five and to one dot four. So this is the cleanup on the bridge pickup. Let's explore the neck pickup. Neck pickup on 1.5. And about 5. There you had a um, you know different pickup settings. Let's stay on the bridge pickup on on full, which is killer, and explore the fuzz knob and see what happens if I go down a little bit. It stays bright. It gets more controllable, which I like. Let's go down even more. Let's there it starts to get a bit brighter. Uh, sorry, darker. Let's add some volume to that. You know, but for a fast face type um, pedal, 
to, to be able to go that low with a fuzz knob is quite remarkable. You know, you can basically use it like a fuzzy type of boost. And then um, the bias knob is basically like a tone control. So all the way anti-clockwise, you add a lot of high mids. <laughs> which works, you know, with a fast knob a bit lower. Maybe let's add a bit of, a bit more gain, makes it easier for the fingers. You know, this is a killer setting. Gonna go down a little bit. So I was all the time on full on my bridge pickup. This is 8.5. without so you get like a you have with this setting you have like a fuzzy boost basically very dynamic you know if I pick softly So there's a lot of, you know, nice settings here. Let's go back to almost cranking the fast knob. And I show you what happens if you go fully clockwise with a bias knob. It sounds very warm, smooth. And then again, fully anti-clockwise. You get much more bite from the upper mids and you know you can find your favorite setting and just enjoy. So, you know, lots of great sounds in this one. One thing I want to also point out, I'm here, bridge pickup on full, fast knob cranked. Look at this noise floor. It's really low, the noise floor. So the black knob, as I said, is primarily a bass. Uh, fuzz, it's based on the woolly mammoth. It has the same knobs as the silver one. Bias control is also more of a tone control. This one has only one internal trim pot. It, which again lets you reduce the input gain just in case you want to use a guitar or a bass with active pickups. Okay everybody, you are noticing a strangely shaped object here and there are some strings missing. Um, that's because the black knob version is primarily a bass fuzz. So you heard it already in my intro tune. It's really fun. So this is my Yamaha I have no idea what the model is called. I'm gonna blend it in right here, right now. Short scale bass, you know, I'm a guitar player. Can't, can't really handle, uh, you know, long scale basses. But this is how it sounds. And here comes the black knob. Get fast, fast. I was using a, a pick. And then 
when the second part came, I just rolled down my volume on this bridge pickup here and you get these very low, so, you know, this is without. Sounds cool, but of course, here, now you will notice that there's a lot of push in the, uh, you know, in the bass frequencies. And it's very dynamic, so, you know, if you... Or... If I go even more, even more down on my volume lock here. You know, there's still some saturation going on, but it's, um, you know, you don't... So this is very cool. You can also, you know, go for a less fuzzy sound. Volume on full. Or even less. So you can even go fully, you know, fully down on the on the on the fast knob and you know use it like a low end boost. There's of course a little bit of fuzz still, some saturation, but It's a killer sound. So the bias knob is um, it's similar to the silver knob version. It's like a tone control. So that way you get the brightest sound, the least amount of bass. Killer sound. And fully clockwise, it gets very woolly and bass forward. course you can play with something in between. Okay, the black knob get fast. Fast can also sound great on guitar. I grabbed my tally for this one simply because the tally has, you know, much less bass than my Les Paul. And since this black knob version is pushing a lot of low end frequencies, um, this is what makes sense. Okay, here we go. If you are doubling a bass line or maybe you want like really full sounding chords and you have a guitar that is quite, you know, jangly. If, it's, if this is too much bass for you, too much low end, the black knob version cleans up beautifully.
You know, um, what I would do probably, I would use this, the black knob version for like some like thick sounding um, rhythm guitar. And last, but definitely not least, the gold knob one. Andy was again inspired by Analog Man's clone of the Sam Ash fuzz box or Astrotone fuzz. Um, but he didn't go as low end heavy. And you can also shape the low end with a bias knob again. This is a fuzz that I was not familiar with at all and I really enjoy it. Okay, staying on my telly for the gold knob one. So this pedal gets much more into like overdrive territory. Um, let's explore. So my rhythm part of my intro tune was something like this. And I added the gold one and it does this. I have the bias knob all the way clockwise, so this is the setting that has the least amount of bass. It's great for like, you know, overdrive type of tones. sound in my opinion if you go anti-clockwise you add quite a lot of bass on the bias knob you have the um, you know it sounds like you're losing volume by going clockwise, fully clockwise, this might be only a perception um, since there's quite uh, less bass frequencies or you know you are perceiving a volume drop. <laughs> for a in-between position. I really enjoy this one. You can go for less fuss, you know, use it like a boosty type of thing. Something like this, maybe. You know, adding some grit, some overdrive, some sustain. And speaking of sustain, if you go fully, you know, if you crank the fast knob or almost crank it, I find that this gold knob gives you a beautiful sustain. It feels almost like you're kicking, kicking on a compressor. It's really 
really cool to go for lead lines. Let's check out the cleanup. End this video by showing you guys how it sounds when you stack either the silver or the black knob one into the gold knob get first pedal since the gold knob one gets into overdrive territory there's some really interesting sounds there all right so this is my les paul into the rev d20 adding the gold knob and then stacking the silver version in front. Maybe let's add a bit more fuzz here. this glassy sounds in the neck pickup killer lead sound on the on the on the bridge pickup like that this is something i'm really enjoying
killer sound in my opinion. Okay, I know this is a very long video, but one last exploration. You know, this is my cleaner sound. Here's the gold knob. Like, um, you know, with in a overdrive setting. And here is the black knob. Get first, first into the gold knob one. Also a killer sound, you know the the gold knob, bias knob can make it sound very thin actually. A thin might be the wrong word, you know, there's not much bass, which is a perfect sound to you know to cut through a mix and sit nice in a mix. And the black knob version, as you heard in my, uh, as you heard before, can get very woolly and bass forward. So the combination of both sounds great. As a beautiful cleanup, it gets very glassy that way. The same on the neck pickup. really enjoy these three fuzzes. I think they are beautifully built. Andy really knows what he's doing. Um, I love the creamy texture of the silver knob one. It's a silicon fuzz, but it's, you know, it gets into the germanium fuzz territory. It sounds really warm, uh, really smooth. There's no harshness. You can make it bitey with a bias control, which uh, I'm really enjoying. I think it's super handy to, you know, to be able to shape low end and also the mids. The silver knob one was new to me and I enjoyed it a lot. I'm, I'm surprised that um, I didn't hear about it before. I highly recommend this one. Maybe if you are a little skeptical about fuzz, uh, you cannot control it, but you want something that is a bit more overdrivey, go ahead and check out the gold knob one. And yeah, the black knob one just makes me want to pick up the bass and really feel this low end punch in the chest it's super cool super fun sounds also killer stacked with the gold knob one as does the silver knob silver knob one so beautiful work by andy i highly recommend that you guys check it out i thank you for checking out this video i know it's a long one but there's a lot of great sounds here and please subscribe leave me a comment let me know what you think and leave me a like and i hope to see you for the next one ciao